Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kat. <laughs> and before we get into today's video, in case you're wondering what in the allergic bee sting reaction thing is going on on my face, I had my second dental surgery and I've never felt so much like my face is melting than I have in these last couple days. Um, <laughs> it's like if I cover it up, I look normal. Also, if I cover it up, I look 10 years younger because it just, I used to have really chubby cheeks and so like it looks, it just, it's so lopsided and I've just I've been in so much pain and so I was like, I need to take a break. But do you ever just have it where like, you feel so hideous that you're like, I just need to do something fun to like get my mind off of everything. I can't put makeup on because doing anything more than the lightest of touches is just absolutely horrendous. Uh, and the way that I normally pack foundation on is by punching myself in the face with my beauty blender. And so that's not gonna work. So I figured what's the only thing that we could do where we could have a fun time together and just kind of embrace the monstrosity that is this. And I was like, you know what? We can do an unboxing. And not just any unboxing, we have a double unboxing. Because the Copacetic Cosmetics Convert Box is back. They took a one year hiatus last year and Olivia has brought it back. So one of these two is the January Convert Box. The other is additional items that I grabbed from Copacetic Cosmetics because I was so, so excited that I was like, you know what, we need more items. So we're gonna do a double unboxing today. We will swatch everything. We're gonna take a look at all of it. If you are not familiar with how the Convert Box works, it is essentially five items that you get in the Convert Box. You have the choice of either having everything be a surprise, the way that I do it, I don't look at any spoilers or anything like that, or you have a form every month that you can fill out where you get to kind of pick and choose a few of the items. No matter what, four of those five items are full size, which is absolutely awesome. You get a full size lip product, a eyeshadow quad, so there are four shades in there, a full size nail polish, one full size mystery item, and then one trial size item. And I gotta be honest, the trial size items that I have gotten have always been decent sized. And so I don't think I've ever gotten something that was like yay big. Like they are usually good sized and oftentimes skincare products, which is really, really nice because copacetic skincare items smell amazing, like absolutely amazing. And so I am very excited. And then I don't remember what else I picked up. So we're just gonna find out everything together. And then at some point later in the video, uh, I will do another poll to see who's gonna win the giveaway since uh, the first person that I pulled did not claim it. So that just means more of a chance for you guys to win. So let's uh, let's just jump into everything and try to ignore this. I'm gonna probably sit like this a lot, you know? How are we doing? How are we doing, guys? <laughs> also, this is the first time I am filming with this background set up. I do think I wanna get like some additional lighting on there so you guys can see it a little bit better because it's a little bit just on me with the ring light and then the overhead light. And so I think I wanna get like some more lighting so you guys can really see what all is behind me. Otherwise, it's a little bit dark. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna try. But for today, let's go ahead and jump into it with this first one and let's see if I grab, it is the Convert box. Awesome. Ooh, and they have a little card in here, uh, which is very, very interesting um, because this is new. And so I am not used to having a little card that describes the items that are in here. It is also very interesting because I always ask for the quad and it says here that this time I am not getting it in a quad, it is just the four singles. So very interesting. But right off the bat, what I am seeing is the lip gloss and this is in the shade Supportive. This is absolutely gorgeous. It is like pink to yellow to green to purple. It has like, all of the shifts in there. This is absolutely stunning. Some purple, I mean, just, uh, let's give it a sniff here. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> oh my God, what is that? Oh. It smells so fruity sweet. It is just, oh. oh, that smells good. You know what, right on the mouth. We're just gonna test it out right away. That hurts a little. <laughs> I can't press my mouth together the same way I could, but I love their gloss formula. It's not too heavy, not too sticky at all. It is really, really nice. 
and just a really nice light gloss. That is such a pretty shade. Oh my God, I can't even handle it. I love it. I mean, it's just so pretty. All right, next product. <gasps> oh, so one of the things that they changed for this year is that they updated their packaging for their highlighters. They are no longer, let me see here. So the highlighters used to come in this compact, but they changed the compact for this year. I am so excited for this. Okay. <laughs> I know my face can't show smiles as well right now, but I'm so excited. <gasps> they are a paw print. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. And then what is this? This is Vanilla Peach Bellini as the highlighter. Oh my goodness. Look at it. We're going to swatch this bad boy, but this is so, so cute. Oh my goodness. All right. Very good highlighter shade. Just ever so slight, a little bit of a peachy champagne shade. So, so gorgeous though. I mean, that's gonna be absolutely stunning to use. Very, very nice. Oh man, and I, I cannot get over this packaging. It is so cute and the white portion has like a little bit of like some glittery sparkle on it oh my god i love this it is so cute oh okay i already can't handle it and then the next one that we have is the nail polish and this is a gorgeous nail polish too <gasps> Oh, if I could make this into an eyeshadow, I would too. Oh my gosh, this is in the shade Golden Girls. Look at that. It's gold, but has like a lighter yellow into almost limey green hint on there, which just makes it, I mean, oh my goodness, and almost like slight little bit of pink tones in there as well that really just makes this so gorgeous. I mean, very coppery, but so, I mean, oh, gorgeous. Oh, I cannot wait to use this shade. This is so pretty. Wow. I don't have any shades like this either. Like I've got like your typical gold shades as a nail polish, but this copper tone, oh, I can't wait. I mean, oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> then we have the four eyeshadow shades. And I am very excited to see these guys. The top one is already looking very interesting. I don't know though if it's the wrapping that is throwing me off because the wrapping is holographic. So let's see here. Okay, so we have four shades here and they are very, very pretty. So it looks like we've got a gold foil shade right here, which is very beautiful. This is kind of their flaky glitter formula that they have. This is the shade Butter Together. Then we have You're My Jam, which is what looks a little bit more like a satin or a matte uh, kind of corally tone. And then we have a lighter pink shimmer that is Main Squeeze. And then we have another gold kind of coppery shade that is toast to us, very similar to the nail polish. So let's go ahead and swatch those four. All right, so here are the four shades in the quad. So if you purchase the quad, it would just be a white background instead of this black, but it would look just like this. So let's go ahead and swatch these guys. So we'll start with that kind of gold metallic, very nice and pigmented from what I can see already. Oh yeah, very nice and smooth consistency on there. Not too overbearing, uh, but really, really nice. Very lightweight. That's a beautiful shade. All right, and then the pink shade. It's a little bit more chunky of a consistency than the gold was. So this, is this one right here, Ooh, that is very pretty. Also a little bit more sheer. You do have to work it in a little bit more to build it up. Has some light gold specks in there as well. That is also a very pretty shade. You can just see a little bit of those gold specks and then that really nice pink. But you would want to do two coats to really build it up to maximum opacity. And we have the coral red shade. Ooh, 
she is pigmented. That's very nice. Okay. Definitely more of a satin consistency for this one, where this is your, your straight up metallic, and then this guy's a little bit more of a shimmer. This is definitely a satin formula, but very nice and opaque right off the bat. Really nice and pigmented. So also very, very beautiful. And then we come to the gold foil. So to do this effectively, you kind of have to press it in a little bit more rather than trying to just like swipe it like a normal swatch um, because it is more flaky. And then if you want maximum buildup on there, use a little bit of a setting spray along with it. But very, very gorgeous immediately foiled on there. I mean, their, their flaky glitters are just absolutely gorgeous. Some of the silver ones that I've gotten in the past from them are the most gorgeous foils that I own. So really, really nice. It just does take a little bit of working with it to get to where um, you can use it a little bit easier. I would say when I first got them, I struggled a little bit with like how to apply it to the eye in the best way possible. Um, but now that I've had them for a while and I've been able to work with them, I find that just using your finger and then pressing it onto your lid and then using a little bit of setting spray on the brush as well really helps with just getting it to stay and I've never had an issue since then. But that is all four shades that we have in the quad for this month plus the highlighter. And then we have one more item and I think that this item is the tester item, but it is gorgeous. Ooh. Oh, it is a loose glitter, and this is in the shade Coffee for Two. So let's see here, we'll open it up. Oh, it has some interesting like little roses and like latte cups. I think it's not roses, it's just latte cups in there. It just looked like flowers to me for a second there. Um, but here it is up close. You can see kind of a nice coppery shade and then those holographic lattes in there as well, which is super cute. And so that's a fun thing. I don't use glitter really all that much, but this will be super cute for some of my crafting stuff that I like to do um, because I definitely use the loose glitters when I'm making clay sculptures and things like that. And so that is probably what I will end up using this for. But that is everything. So the four full size items that we have are the lip gloss, the highlighter. I still cannot get over this packaging. It is so cute and I love this lip gloss shade. Absolutely gorgeous nail polish, the quad, and then the little glitter trial size. And the nice thing is that for the nail polish and the lip gloss, you get to go in there and say, uh, if you would like to actually pick it out, they usually have three different shades uh, that you can choose from. And for the lip products, it's usually a liquid lip or a lip gloss or a lipstick. Like you can kind of choose between those as well. So it's different formulas. And so if these were not appealing to you, you do have the option to customize as well. And so I just prefer to be surprised and Olivia sends me fun things. And so that's how I do it. But it's really however you would like to. And so I will drop all of that information in the description down below in case you guys are wanting to check it out. And yeah, I, I am so happy that we have the convert boxes coming back. And so you can definitely expect monthly unboxings from me because I absolutely love the convert box. But let's go ahead and jump into the second box now and see what else I picked up because I know I grabbed a bunch of things. <laughs> Oh, and I got another sticker. I love the little kitty cat stickers that they include in there. That's the mascot for Copacetic Cosmetics. I think I have like three of the kitties now. And so they are just like all over my electronics. So I love that I got another one. So it looks like I picked up a couple nail polishes. So let's go ahead and have a look at the first one, which already looks amazing through the packaging. Ooh, it's multi chromy. Okay, so I picked up the shade NVIDIA and look at that. It starts off lime green, then goes into gold, then into like peachy orange. I mean, oh, that is gorgeous and it's so sparkly. Oh my goodness, I love it. Oh, look at that pink. 
Ooh, okay, this is a good shade. I am very excited for this one. Ooh, okay, this second one is gorgeous too. It's called Act Your Wage. Oh, it's so sparkly. Okay, it starts off like teal blue, then goes into like a lilac-y purple. You also have like a little bit of greenish in there. That is so, so pretty. Oh wow, I, I like that a lot. It is super sparkly. Okay, very nice. Definitely more muted in comparison to the lime green, but they are both shifty, shifty gals. So that is very fun. Then it looks like I also picked up a lip gloss of some kind. So let's see here. Ooh, wow, this is very daring. I, would, I wouldn't normally pick that up. Uh, this is Craig de Roch Castle, uh, which is probably a castle within Ireland or Scotland, it seems like it. Uh, but it is a very deep, more uh, metallic, creamy uh, gel than the other guy, which was a little bit more of a sparkly one. So you can kind of see the consistency difference on there a little bit. But let's give this guy a snifferoni too. Ooh, it smells like kind of like coffee, um, very interesting. And it definitely also goes a little bit between like a maroonish purple with like some olivey green around the outside edge. So let me see here. I'm going to grab my copacetic palette and use the mirror from that. And we will give this guy a go on top of the other pink one. So it is just ever so slightly a little bit of a deepening tint on there. And so it's not overbearing at all, which is very, very nice. And it does have that whiff of coffee on there. So that's super interesting. I was expecting it to have a much deeper tint to it, but this is far more wearable than I was expecting. And so that's really awesome. And then we have two quads that I picked up. So let's see here. Oh wow, okay, so the first one is the Wonderland quad and it looks like this. Very, very pretty. And inside we've got a matte green. Oh, she's soft, okay. Very, very nice. That is the matte green shade right there. Then we have a nice silver shade. Oh, she's pretty. Little bit on the sheer side upon initial swatch for that silver shade. And so let me see if I can build it up a bit more here. Oh yeah, you can definitely build this guy up. Very, very nice. And it's very nice cool toned silver. It has a little bit of like a grayish blue undertone to it, so very nice. Then we have kind of this swirly, pinkish purple shade that we're gonna mess up here. <laughs> and it looks a bit like a duo chrome between pink and blue. So there is that guy. You can definitely see the pink, maybe ever so slight like purplish blue when it's mixed together because it's blue sparkles that you can kind of see on there. But still very, very pretty. And then the last shade is a flaky glitter and this is a beautiful blue shade that we have going on here. Oh wow, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Oh yeah, look at that. That is stunning. That is an absolutely gorgeous blue. Wow, I, I love that. I like how when the light hits it, it goes very, very light. And then in the shadows goes into that gorgeous deep blue. That is a beautiful shade on there. Very, very nice. And then the other quad that we have is the Green with Envy quad. And it's a nice green one. Look at that. I mean, that foil. Oh, I can't wait for that guy. Oh, wow. Okay. These are going to be amazing to swatch. So the first one is this really nice, a little bit thicker, kind of champagne-y shimmer. Oh yeah, just a nice light champagne shade on there. Actually very similar to this guy. I would just say that the, the highlighter from the Convert box that we got has just ever so slightly a bit more of an orangey undertone, whereas this guy is a little bit more on the champagne-y side. Then we have a nice mint green with some gold speckles in there. Very nice and lightweight 
but you can see a little bit of those gold specks, which is super pretty. And you could definitely easily build this guy up to be more opaque, but really beautiful shimmer. And we have the first of the two that I am very excited for. <laughs> All right, this guy's definitely a chunky boy. Here we go. Oh, I, I like it. <laughs> it is so pretty. Look at that green. And then it goes into like an icy blue. Oh my gosh, like a little bit of a limey shade on there too. Oh my gosh, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Oh man, I really like that one. Wow. Could you imagine this guy on the lid? You put this guy on the lower lash line and then have this as a pop in the inner corner. Gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and then the final shade that we have is another absolutely gorgeous foil the flaky glitters and they are flaky flaky babies look at that guy has a bit of a bluish hue to it along with that really kind of champagne-y undertone i mean absolutely gorgeous that is so, so pretty. If you layered that with this guy or even with this one, that'd be super duper pretty. Oh, wow. I love that one. That is very, very nice. I think that's my favorite out of the three flakies that we swatched for today. Just, it would just go with so many things. Like that is, that is the perfect cross between like a neutral with like a pop of color. It is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at that. That level of reflect on there oh, is gorgeous. All right, so now that we have gone through both boxes, I'm going to pull up my iPad and then we are going to go ahead and go into the Pick Me app with the numbers. And we flip this this way and make sure that we have the numbers 1 through 90. And I'm going to click it. 65. All right, let's go into the screenshots of the comments. 65. Oh, wow. 65 is Kelly Castellano 6756. She has definitely been a longtime supporter of my channel. That is her comment right there. So congratulations, Kelly. That's so awesome. I'm so happy that uh, that you won the giveaway. Um, so you've got a week to get back to me. I don't think that's going to be an issue though because you, you comment pretty regularly. So I think we definitely have a winner this time. Um, but if you want to message me on Instagram or if you want to shoot me an email on uh, just beautyjacked at gmail.com, either way, um, get me your address and I will get you the giveaway. But that is fantastic. I'm so excited. I, I always love it when some of you that have been subscribed for, you know, a while get to get to win some of the stuff because I'm just, I'm so grateful to you guys for sticking around and enjoying the content even when my face looks like it's falling off. And so thank you so much uh, for everything. And um, I, I hope you like all of your winnings. And yeah, that is, uh, that is gonna do it for this video. I am super duper excited that the convert box is back. Let me know what you guys think. Have any of you guys signed up for it again now that it's back? Um, if not, are you happy to know that it is back. Uh, I know I am super duper excited because that was always one of the really fun things for me to unbox on my channel. And so I hope you guys are equally as excited as I am. But I think that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for sticking around and letting me just do some little bit of unboxings with you guys to make me feel a little better. We got to enjoy some really awesome shades that we swatched. And I mean, that not nail polish that I grabbed, this one that is in the Convert box, that is an absolutely gorgeous shade. I mean, I'm gonna feel like a million bucks when I use that because I need to get my nails done again soon. So <laughs> I am very excited about that. But let me know what you guys thought of everything. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you did not, as we always do here. And if you made it to the end of the video and you have not yet subscribed, please come join my family here. We talk a ton about indie brands. We swatch a ton of stuff. We normally have really colorful makeup on and a normal sized face. <laughs> um, and so if that sounds like fun for you, I would love it if you would join my family here at least drop a comment down below let us know what you're loving and other than that you guys just go have a good one